I was starting to forget what eggs tasted like. How are they? I haven't tasted them yet. You've got a veritable smorgasbord. Bravo. Huevos. Baba. Bacon. Pepper. Pepper. Are you trying to say bacon? Baby. Bacon. Bacon. You're the baby. Baby gets bacon. And there's baby's back. Baby got back. I'm pretty sure the dogs missed you too. Especially during meal time. Sometimes things beep, Jedi. <laughs> beep. Hello. Daddy's done with his coffee, so we've got to put it in the sink. We're taking the scenic route. I'm gonna do a haul. All oh, your new clothes, baby. Yeah, look at this. I see Chris is making use of my UV lamp. He even bought some developer. We can practically share all our things now. C P. It's short for Chris Perillo or Captain Phasma. Bye. Oh, it's milk time. Is it really milk if it's made out of almonds? They should call it milk. See, that's what I would do. Chris just Daddy. told me that the patrons have already seen the house where I grew up in. And I'm really glad Daddy. it's gotten great Daddy. feedback because it's something Daddy. so personal to me. And it's Daddy. not that I'm ashamed of it because my parents have gotten so far. I mean, they put me through three years of college and they put my brother through four plus years because he has his bachelor's, master's, and I think he has like 20 degrees. But my parents have paid for all of that out of pocket. They also have a home right now that they're redoing. They have four vehicles. I mean, just to think that you come from that. I want to show Jedi that because I want to encourage her. I want to encourage anyone out there. If you're in a spot where you just feel like you can't make ends meet, you feel like you're just never going to progress from where you are, I, I want you to know that you can do it. It's possible. It's possible. To just work hard and you will get there. I mean, my, my parents both work really hard. My dad works every single day. He gets off <laughs> one day a month, not even a whole day. He gets off one evening a month. And he loves his job. He loves cooking. He loves baking. And he's so happy at his job. And he's so grateful because he tells me, in Mexico, he would work from sunrise to sundown outside in the field and he would be just pouring sweat. And he told me this one time when he worked out in the tomato field, uh, picking tomatoes, and he said he didn't have enough money to buy food. So he would just eat tomatoes all day long to the point where he would just make himself sick from just eating tomatoes for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. And it's... Just stories like that. And when he moved here to the United States, he remembered working at a catfish restaurant and he was so happy that he was working in air conditioning. And to this day, he's so grateful that he gets to work in air conditioning in the summer and he gets to work in the heat in the winter. And those things make him so happy and so grateful. And you know, it just, it makes me really sit back and think and wonder. I need to be grateful about all the things. And Chris is here. <laughs> Hopefully I'm recording. Yes, I am. <laughs> oh, good. <laughs>
The name Nathan Sawaya may not be familiar to you, but if you're an adult fan of LEGO like I am, then the name should be familiar because he is a LEGO artist. He makes works of art out of LEGO bricks. You've probably actually seen the things that he's done. And we get to meet him today and talk to him and ask him questions, Jedi. Like, should almond milk be called Malk? Daddy. Daddy. <laughs> oh, it's so bright. He's on a business call, I think. <laughs> and it sounds good. <laughs> it's good. Oh, there's an airplane. Avion. Watching the people go by. Hoping that I don't drop the camera. <laughs> I can't believe I'm meeting the artist that made this. And this. Oh my God. I'm freaking out right now. He's so nice too. Wow, look at that. Look at that. Oh my gosh. Just to think that someone created that. Amazing. Jedi, you have no idea how lucky you are. <laughs> I'm going to be posting a full tour as a separate video, and you have to watch it. I asked you who we were meeting, and you made it sound like it was so casual. I didn't know we were meeting the artist. I could have, like, dressed up a little bit more. Zapatos? <laughs> Shoes. Mano. Hand. It's not a green turd. It's Job of the Hut, a vintage Job of the Hut that came to me with a broken arm. When I get the replacement, I'm going to place it over here, next to my very first do back, which unfortunately is also not quite perfect. Its reins are broken, but it's very difficult to find a perfect do back vintage figure these days. Oh my gosh, a real dinner! <laughs> this isn't just a BB 8 constructed out of Lego bricks. It's a BB-8 constructed out of Lego bricks made by Nathan Sawaya. It's an original. He gave it to me. You'll see it happen if you watch the full tour that I did of The Art of the Brick. And he made it such that BB-8's head swivels. It's a work of art. Nathan said he'd never made a BB-8 before. This is his first. I'll make room. Thanks for taking a second right now to tap the like button before you watch our next story and for interacting with us across social every day. Your support is always appreciated, and if you'd like for us to keep sharing our daily story with you, we hope you pledge on geekfamilyfun.com. You'll get even more of what you love from us. Advanced screenings, behind the scenes, and most importantly, you'll ensure that we can keep doing this for you. See you tomorrow!